Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In the last episode we defeated Maleficent and her stupid flying rock and she retreated into this portal right here and uh, before this episode I actually did a little bit of off-screen grinding so as you can see my stats are a little bit higher than what they were compared to before. Um, I leveled up about twice, I think, and I got the MP Rage skill, so I equipped that, and I believe I moved around some equipment and got Goofy his MP Gift skill, and let's see the equipment, so I swapped out a little bit of the equipment, I swapped a White Fang in so that I could actually equip the MP Gift skill on Goofy, and that's pretty much about it but I got about two level ups got a little bit of HP and I got a max item increase so uh, well let's step into the portal and see what awaits us And now we have to fight Dragon Maleficent. So she, whenever she stomps like that, she'll always send out a shockwave. So be careful of that. And whenever she moves her feet at all, she usually sends out a shockwave. So just be very, very careful. You want to hit her whenever you can. Uh, be very careful of all her attacks because they are very devastating, as you can see. Uh, I'm already almost out of MP just from trying to heal myself. And this isn't really helpful that my party members are dead. But just try to do whatever you can. Uh, hit her as much as possible. Try to jump whenever she uses her attack. And pretty much just try to stay alive for as long as you can. That's basically the goal. And this boss fight isn't uh, too hard if you do uh, stay alive. And, ooh, I actually got on top of her somehow. I don't think this is supposed to happen. I've never actually gotten on top of her before. Hmm. I guess there's a face for everything. But, right here, I really want to... Do some healing. And be careful of this attack because this basically covers the whole field in fire. So it's really devastating if you get caught in it. I need some MP, so I'm gonna use an 
elixir on myself, which I really didn't want to use. Heal up my friends. And... This is pa basically the pace of the battle for this whole whole battle because uh, you're really going to get hit by a lot of attacks so uh, you pretty much want to keep your HP at a constant max for as much as you can. Uh, your party members are probably not going to be too useful since they usually die in a few hits only. And. Ooh, that was a pretty big hit. Uh, try to keep arrow on you, of course, like always. Uh, try to dodge all her attacks. This is a really hard fight. As you can see, I'm not doing too well in it. Uh, let's see. Just try and get her around her as well as you can. And, uh, I really want to get another MP bar so I can cast arrow on myself, but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to. But hopefully, if I stay this far away from her, I won't get hit by anything. Except for that. And you can tech this. Uh, the fireballs that she shoots out. When they do come for you. Uh, for 60 points each. Which is really good. However, I suggest not uh, trying that at all. If you're not good at blocking. Or guarding or parrying attacks. Because they do do a lot of damage if they hit you. So just be careful of that. I'm just waiting for her to uh, do her biting attack because that seems to be the one chance that you can hit her a lot. So, and I want to get around her like this. Hopefully, back into the crevice that I was hiding in, which is right here. Or somewhere here. So. She's doing the fireball attack again, so try to block them if you can. If not, then just run away. Uh, try to hit her again. And... Uh, oh, this fight is going to take a while. I can tell you that right now. Just get this. Oh. 
And if I can't beat her, then I'm just going to skip to an attempt where I do beat her. But, uh, basically the fight is just going to be the same as always. Pretty much. Uh, every single round that you fight her is going to be the same. She always starts out with a stomp. Then she goes for whatever attack she feels like. Usually flames. Uh, not these flames, this flame, the flame breath attack that she did just now. And I just got hit once and pretty much got killed. So this is a really, really high scale fight, like compared to every other boss that you fought so far. They usually don't do this much damage, but this one does. So you're probably going to see me die a lot. I'm going to do this one more time on screen, and then uh, if it doesn't go well, then probably going to go grind a little before I actually come back to this. Because she does a lot of damage. And both my party members are down again already. Uh, also be careful of when she hits you towards her fires uh, because uh, those do count as hits and then they will hurt you so sometimes it is a big problem that uh, when that happens because all of the damage combined together does so much that it basically just kills you so just be wary of that And of course she always has a way of cheating like this where she basically uh, pretty much covers her face side with flames and then you can't do anything. So just be wary of that as well. And some of the areas on the sides, I believe, they give you just enough space so that you could sit there and not be hit by her attacks. But I don't think those are reliable all the time. So just try not to uh, use them uh, nooks and crannies for assistance all the time. And Donald is always dead, which is really, really unfortunate because he's the one who has most of our magic. And I'm 
also trying to get Goofy to give me his MP bar, but he seems to have given it to Donald. So it's a little unfortunate. Okay. I am back, and this is basically the end of the boss fight. I am hopefully going to win this one now. And all I have to do is hit her once, and there we go. And now we get Fire Glow. And I made that boss fight look a lot harder than it should have been. It should not have taken that long and I should not have had to cheat like that in order to beat it. But I had to cheat like that or else I would have probably not have beaten it in this recording session, so. Yeah. Definitely saving after that. That took way too long. And I th think I'm going to call it quits for now. We all I know we only got one boss fight in, but that boss fight was a hell of a long boss fight. So, I'm sorry if that fight was really, really terrible and that you probably could have done better. But I'm not that good at that fight. And honestly, that, that fight is actually pretty hard. I feel like they ramp up the difficulty way too much um, after that part. Uh, the first Maleficent fight is not that bad. All you really have to do is deal with the Heartless. But then that second Maleficent fight, she does so much damage. It's it's really ridiculous how much damage she does. So, sorry for the short episode this time. But uh, next time, we're going to go to the entrance that just opened up. And we'll see what awaits us behind there. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.